Hi, this is Jeff. And Jenny. We're from Airstream Nerds, and we just became Solo Stove affiliates. Woohoo! And because we became affiliates, we got all this stuff. Um, so what I want to do is I want to open up some of these things and let's see what we got and talk about what they're for and so on and so forth. When we get back, that's what we're going to do. If you don't Okay, so the first thing we got is a brand new product, and all these things are for the Ranger except for one, which is for all of them. Um, actually, two for all of for, for all of their different different um, fire pits. So this is the lid. This basically turns your Ranger into like a coffee table, side table, something like that. Um, Something to put your drinks on when you're not doing a fire. I mean, literally, it's just a pretty heavy gauge um, stainless steel lid. Sits on there. You put your drink on it. You set it in there. When you're not doing a fire, it gives you a nice um, little side table to have at your campsite. If you're going to have your solo stove with you, you might as well use it while you're not having a fire in it. So that's pretty cool that's that's the first time i've put it on the solo stove obviously i opened it previous to today um well, so when it's covered when it's when the ashes are cold and the fire is done this would also keep the ashes that and the cold fire from blowing all over the place until you can empty it that's true too let the let keep the your campground tidy so we got that and and the way this thing sits it'll just go in the bag with the rest of the stuff Bad news is we had technical difficulties and all the footage we did opening this stuff um, had no audio. The microphone battery died. So now we're doing it without microphone batteries. And the good news is we get to have second hot dogs. Second hot dogs. Oh, and while, while we were figuring out that the batteries were dead, back in the woods here, we had a family of five deer just walk through. So we went over there and we watched them walk by and everything it was kind of cool. So we're back sitting in front of our fire um, I've been using pieces of two by four from a construction project in my house now these are not pressure treated and we've got um, I've made sure all the nails and the screws are out of them so um, they burn a little faster than regular wood but I can take these to any campground um, that it's a lot of the area here on the west coast I'm not sure about anywhere I mean on the east coast I'm not sure about other places, but they don't allow you to bring your own wood to a lot of the campgrounds around here because of... Emerald ash borer, I yeah. think, yeah. So, so, some like diseases, the tree diseases Insects that are... That are that are killing trees. Yeah, so you have to buy your wood there. But there's no such rule on two by fours and things like that because it's, it's, it's wood. So you just want to make sure that you're not using pressure treated or anything that's got paint on it. Or chemicals pumped into or, it. Or, you know, make yeah. sure the labels are off of them and it's not... That kind of stuff. So... Um, that's what I've been using. It seems to work good, and I've got a bunch of it, so it's no cost. Um, it's not like I'm heating the house with it. I'm not burning it for hours. So the first thing that we have, and it was really nice when we opened them, and they were nice and pretty and shiny, um, but these are the Solo Stove Sticks and Tools. Now, these are the tools. We'll get to the sticks in a few minutes. Um, they are all stainless steel like everything, and they are angled so you can get into your fire and poke things around and, and mess with stuff like I always like to do. I never leave a fire alone. I love moving things around and adding wood and having fire good bug. flames. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a fire bug. Um, so this is great. It's it's pointy. It's a sh the, the tip is sharp. The, it's it's uh, it, it's sharp, but not like cut your skin sharp. So they've done a nice um, job um, um, with it. It's long enough. It's not just for your Ranger, but it's also for the other two sizes as well. So that's awesome. And when you're, especially, I would, I would imagine this, this tool comes in real handy on the much larger units where you're putting full-size logs in there and you might get a log that's 
that's not stacked right and you want to reach in here and grab a piece of your wood and move it around just like that um, this will allow you to do it without standing right over top of the fire and they work pretty good nice nice round um, solid feeling stainless steel handles with the solo stove laser lasering um, etched into it so those those are the tools now in that same box comes the sticks now this is a vinyl covered um, pouch and again these were all wrapped but they're some sort of vinyl covered fabric and they have the outlines on on the two ends of of the pattern of, of the parts going in so that way you can put them back the same way and, and remember how they go um, we have two of them already opened and they're a little bit wiped down so they're not black like they were because i had a paper towel which we no longer have because it went in the fire but i bought a pack of hot dogs So before I do the before we use these, I'm gonna go over one other product because it, oh, yeah. it kind of goes hand in hand with these. Sorry. It's all good. I take a little walker. So what we have is you have a fire going here, and in some places, some places, um, and again, I don't know all the fire rules anywhere else in the country, but around here, around here, you don't have to have a spark arrestor. But I know there are places in 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 this country where and especially in dry conditions out west you ha can't have a campfire well you can't have a campfire in a lot of time but when you're allowed to have a campfire they require a spark arrestor you get this you get this wood that has some sap in it or something like that hollow spots it, it heats up it expands it it blows out and a big chunk of your wood goes you know eight feet away into the woods and catches the leaves on fire so they've come up with this now it's it's pretty cool. It has two pieces to it. And if I can do this, you're supposed to do it on the fire, not on the other side of the fire. So let me do it the right way. I'm not supposed to reach across the fire. So they've got these four notches, and they've got these two little tools that's, that are similar construction to all the other things. You got the round handle with the solo stove laser etched into it, but these allow you to pick up this very hot um, spark arrestor and um, move it, put more wood in the fire and so on. So these are nice little hooks that are just made for that. It is called the Ranger Shield, um, the Solo Stove Ranger Shield. It comes with the two pieces and the little, the little tools. And they have these little notches that double not only does it lock the top piece and the bottom piece together, but they're actually made for the sticks to sit on so you can hook your hot dog up. So we're going to do that right now. Let's grab a hot dog and we're going to start heating up our hot dogs. So I did notice earlier when we were doing this, when we put the spark arrestor on here, we tend to get more smoke. I'm not sure why. I think it might have to do, because it is brand new. There may be some oil on it, a little bit of oil from the manufacturing process or something like that that's burning off. Um, obviously it only did it while we, it's probably, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not anything that's gonna kill us. <laughs> on these hot dogs, but well, we've already eaten one hot dog. And we're still alive. <laughs> we're still alive making this video, so we're making the second hot dog. So, um, because we're an affiliate, we're a Solo Stove um, affiliate, we have a, a link that you guys, if you wanna go out and buy some Solo Stove stuff, um, you can use our link and it, it takes you to the site. And we get, we get a small commission, just like when you use our Amazon links. Um, we really appreciate the support. Um, currently, the software doesn't allow for coupons, but I've been told that they are updating their software and pretty soon we're gonna be able to offer a discount to um, those of you folks who want to purchase something from Solo Stove. Um, we appreciate the support that you guys have given our channel. Um, 
Are they almost done? Yeah. Using the link doesn't cost you any more, but it does earn a small commission for it that supports our channel, so we appreciate you using it. Yeah, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button if you like what we're doing. Put any questions or comments down below. Um, once again, this is Jeff. And Jenny. And we're the Airstream Nerds, and we will see you on the next trip. All right, let's see these things. Be careful. The metal burns your lip. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Mm. It's good, though. See ya. <laughs>